Hello everyone, welcome to oh, another battle report from my channel, sorry. Um, today we have a Kings War battle report, as we always do. This is the uh, fifth game of the <coughs> Blood in the Sun tournament that happened in uh, mid-June. Uh, the game is Dwarfs versus Undead at 2,000 points, and the scenario is Invade. Uh, as a quick, I should probably apologize to my turn 4 opponent, Todd, who was running the, running the tournament and was the ringer. Um, the pictures I got got corrupted for about three turns, so it was kind of hard to make anything out of it. So, <clears throat> that being said, um, tournament notes for this tournament. Table quarters uh, granted you an additional 100 points. To capture a table quarter, you had to have more units than your opponent in that table quarter at the end of the game. Uh, killing a living legend of your opponent's netted you an extra 100 points. And killing your opponent's honor guard. Honor guards were uh, non-monster, non-hero, um, non-war machines that were selected at the beginning of the game. And you didn't get any points for keeping it alive, but you could take points away from your opponent. So, <clears throat> as you've seen the same list, um, we'll do one more with the same list. I'm running dwarves. My list is as follows. Two troops of ironclad, two regiments of iron guard, the two-handed throwing weapons, and uh, two-handed weapons, and then uh, dogs for throwing weapons, uh, one troop of rangers with fire oil, uh, one earth element, or two earth elemental hordes, one with blessing of the gods, and one with brew of haste, one, two iron belter organ guns, one army standard bearer, one ranger captain wings of honey maze, two stone priests, both with the bane chant upgrade, and one with the inspiring talisman, and two greater earth elementals. So this is my opponent, Jake. He was running undead. His undead list is as follows. Two regiments of skeleton warriors, two troops of ghouls, three troops of wraiths, uh, one zombies and a legion with the undead giant rat upgrade, one zombie trolls horde, the blade of slashing, uh, one white's horde with the brew of sharpness, one vampire lord uh, mounted with the brew of haste, and one Lich King, Bane Chant, Heal, Amulet of Fireheart, and then one Lich King with Heal. Um, I'm not 100% of Lich Kings, but I think Bane Chant and Heal are both upgrades, so I listed them as such. Um, and I think, yeah, both of his were on foot, so. <clears throat> um, going into deployment here. Um, so I didn't get great deployment shots, so I'll do both of ours at the same time. So for my opponent, from left to right... He has two troops of ghouls behind that hill. Um, and then on the top, his legion of zombies is next to the building. Uh, for me, I have my dwarf block. So I have my two ironclad troops in front of my two iron guard regiments with my army standard bearer sandwiched in. Uh, in the woods, I have my haste uh, equipped horde of earth elementals, the greater earth elemental next to him, and one of the, uh, the non-inspiring, um, or the... the uh, Stone Preach without the uh, Inspiring Talisman. Um, I'll finish off mine, I guess, since I'm on the door. So, uh, Greater Earth, El or Earth Elementals with the Blessing of the Gods. Greater Earth Elemental. Um, the Stone Preach down there on the left is the Inspiring one, so that's why he's standing next to the Organ Guns. And then far over, this is after um, Vanguard, but my Rangers and my Ranger Captain have moved up. Um, I know he has a lot of flying wraiths over there, so I opted not to go into the woods so he couldn't charge me. Uh, if I didn't get first turn. <clears throat> so, uh, finishing out his, so you can see his zombie horde there uh, next to the building. He has, um, behind his zombie horde is one of the uh, lich priests or kings, whatever they are. Um, and then back, back in the back, he has his horde of whites, his horde of zombie trolls. Uh, a couple troops of, or a couple regiments of skeletons in front of those, and then his three troops of wraiths are way over there on the right and uh, kind of in the middle of his is his vampire lord this will all become more clear so go on um, so we, we roll up for turn one and um, the, the undead get it I'm pretty sure um, this has been a couple weeks but anyway so troops move up uh, zombies move up the vampire lord shoots way over here and on this side um, just moves everything up uh, his, one of his white Wraith um, steps into the woods, and the other two just kind of move up. So, just showing that. So, dwarves turn one, dwarves, we, um, we are doing invade, so um, you have to move up. 
as you know you do so um my dwarves walk up i think pretty much as fast as they can go um they don't have a lot of stuff to fight on the side so you know and then my my elementals and everybody just kind of moves up um pretty much as far as they can go uh shooting organ guns open up on these uh these uh, skeletons and do some. Uh, over here on this side, I opted to charge the wraiths with my um, with my with my rangers here, just kind of hoping to get lucky. Um, I know I'm hitting on fours and wounding on fives, but wraiths don't have a great nerve, so I thought maybe if they got lucky and landed like three wounds or something, I might pop one, and then the rangers would have paid for themselves. Um, but I don't. And you can see the ranger captain up there just moved way up and around. Turn two. Uh, turn two undead. Um, you can see he turns one of his wraiths around in the back. He's going to face my ranger captain and probably surge him in. Uh, his other two wraiths charge my rangers in the woods <coughs> who failed to hurt the other opponent. Uh, on the hill, he just, sorry for the blurry picture, but he just moves up, you know, pretty, pretty fast fast I guess not as fast as he could but getting there uh, and on the other side one of his ghouls charges one of my ironclads and then the other ghouls just kind of move up <clears throat> I think he was hoping just to run those ghouls around my dwarves but he forgot about my throwing dogs uh, yeah surge over here surge into my ranger captain and he ends up doing this is combat too he ends up doing three points of damage so my ranger captain is fine which works out for me because now his race are a little out of position uh, his wraiths in the woods do pretty good though, so these uh, rangers are gone, as you can see, so he overruns and reforms like this. Uh, these ghouls, of course, don't do too much damage, so two points of damage to my ironclad and they're fine. So that's what it looks like after undead 2, and then the other side. So dwarves do. Um, <clears throat> I start to wheel some of my dwarves, you can see they're on the left over. Uh, my elementals keep standing in the woods because... Um, that's what they're best at. Um, I'm almost halfway across the table at this point, if not over halfway across the table with some of my stuff, so I'm not as concerned. I'm just trying to not die. Um, further on the left, uh, my dwarves counter charge, the ironclad counter charge the ghouls, and the um, iron guard regiment get ready to hawk a dog. So they throw a dog, and the dog does like two or three points of damage or something, but with ghouls, that's, that's pretty much enough, so... Hooray for my 10 point dog. Um, yeah, over here, oh, I'm showing too, I should have labeled it, but I did throw a dog at the zombies as well. Um, otherwise, on the hill, my organ guns pick up one of the other skeleton regiments. And in combat, my um, ironclad, not, not surprisingly, smack up these ghouls. And overrun. So that's what it looks like, the end of Dwarves 2. Um, I don't necessarily like how the uh, my, my right flank is going with those wraiths but you know we'll see what happens so turn three um, turn three they double charge my earth elementals on the right the elite ones with the uh, zombie trolls in the front and the race in the flank um, the vampire lord there goes into the flank of my um, greater earth elemental uh, and I'm missing a couple of, no, nah, that's about it actually, because the other side, all of most of his, most of his stuff sit on the other side. I'll cover it in a second. So the front and the flank to my Earth Elementals does ten points of damage, which gets me worried. But he, uh, he fails to roll the double seven twice, uh, and you can see the Vampire Lord does about five points of damage to my Greater Earth Elemental, which is pretty good for him. Um, and here you can see the other side of the board. He just moved his zombies up, <coughs> and his whites up behind him. So. It, um, undead three there. So dwarves, dwarves three. Um, <coughs> I surge my greater earth elemental into the flank of the zombie trolls because I really want them dead, uh, and I put my earth elementals back in or into the zombie trolls because I know the the flanking greater earth elemental is not going to do it by himself. So I'm going to need both of them for this task, and bane chanted them just to make sure. Um, apparently I took this picture for some reason. Over here I double charge the zombie legion with my uh, ironclad and my um, earth elementals. So 
They're not going to finish them this turn, but, you know, that's fine. They'll, they'll just start the work. Um, don't know what I'm showing. And I also don't know why I didn't do anything with my Greater Earth Elemental this turn. wonder if I just forgot. That's weird. That's weird he's just sitting there. Anyway. So we get in combat and I and, um, I route the uh, zombie trolls no problem. And uh, bounce off of the legion of zombies as you would expect. Just because there's so much damage that needs to be done. Uh, that's what looks like the end of Doro's turn 3. So... You can see the wraiths are, you know, turning to be a problem. Turn four, the wraiths go into an organ gun, and you get a nice picture like this. I do have to compliment my opponent. It was a very nice looking army on the board. Uh, his whites go into the front of my Greater Earth Elemental, which was, um, let's just say, something I didn't appreciate enough. He also bane chants his whites. And his whites also have the Brew of Sharpness, so now he is hitting my Earth, Greater Earth Elemental on threes and wounding him on twos, which is not good. Uh, his Legion O Zombies countercharges my, um, uh, what are they called? Ironclad, there, in the middle, which is fine. So we get about it like that, and like that. Oh, and his Vampire Lord charges my... Um, Stone Priest and his uh, Skeleton Regiment charges my Greater Earth Elemental. So in combat, his Vampire Lord fluffs it pretty bad, so my Stone Priest is just wavered. Um, his Skeletons put a damage on my Greater Earth Elemental or something. His his wife's, his 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 Whites do pretty good, or, or Wraiths, sorry. His Wraiths do pretty good on this organ gun, but he rolls really bad, so he sticks around, which is good for me. Um... He had double charged this uh, Earth Elemental, Greater Earth Elemental, or Earth Elemental Horde. Um, and looking back at this, I, again, I don't, I don't know why I let him have one in the flank. I certainly could have positioned him better to get them both in the front, but I guess he just could have surged them in the flank anyway. So I don't know. I don't know. They were dead anyway. So he, they're dead. Um, the Whites come through and just waste my Greater Earth Elemental. Um, which is a, a, a thing to learn, you know, the, the Greater Earth Elemental can take charges from just about most things without dying, but this, this was not one of those things. Um, and, I, and I think zombies actually bounce and do like something, something really, really bad, like zero damage. Like, I think he actually did zero damage. Which is pretty funny. So, doors, no, doors turn four, um, not much to see from this picture. Lots to see from this picture. So the Greater Earth Elemental countercharges. My um, Stone Priest is running away from the <laughs> Vampire Lord. Um, I triple charge the uh, Zombie Legion there with the Greater Earth Elemental's Ironclad and the Iron Guard. Uh, one of them can climb the wall and go smack him over there. So that's good. Um, I get some more shooting off with the one organ gun that's not been hit. Uh, but one of the, uh, the themes of this game is I just can't finish anything off with these organ guns I think I get one zombie regiment with them and that's it and that is not worth their not worth their points um, yep so he just smacks those zombies up but you know greater earth elemental doesn't do that much damage in the front um, in the back here I actually finally got my ranger captain around to uh, smack on one of his casters which was good so um, he got a couple points of damage through so that's that's fine he's not cast in next turn and and lucky for me, I roll really really well, um, and actually pick up the zombie legion with all my attacks. So, which is a pretty pretty good deal because I think that was also his honor guard unit. So I reform, reform as such. Um, not the greatest reform I could have done. Um, I certainly shouldn't have overran with my ironclad like that. I should have turned them to face. Um, Iron guard the same. I should have turned them to face. Um, but you know, uh, my iron, my uh, earth, earth elementals there are 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 to a point where if he charges them with the whites, he does have to step into the woods. So, at least there's that. Uh, and on the other side, yeah, the greater earth elemental is not going to kill anything. Okay, turn five. 
Uh, turn five, he gets a... Uh, I think he flanks and fronts my Greater Earth Elemental. His other whites are just going to try to finish off that uh, organ gun they failed to finish off. Um, he gets a flank and front on my Earth Elemental, but both of them are in the woods. So that is a very big benefit to me. Uh, obviously, he finally routes, routes that organ gun. Um, these guys really, I think they just really, really, really whiff in my flank. So my Greater Earth Elemental is fine. Um, it is... And his vampire lord keeps trying to chase down one of my uh, stone priests, and he just can't seal the deal. He wavers him again, so, which is pretty good for me, because I mean that vampire lord is way more expensive than my stone priest. Um, and yeah, here, like I said, they he had to he had to hit me in the flank in the front. He had to go into the woods to do it, so he just kind of whiffs pretty bad, all things considered, because he was. Yeah, he just he just whipped a little bit, but he's he doesn't have any bane chance right now because he was surging, and I I beat up the other wizard. So the end of a net five looks like that, um, yeah, like that. Dwarves, um, turn five, my greater earth elemental. I probably should have turned and smacked those whites. I should have turned and smacked those whites. Cause yeah, hindsight, hindsight. Um, well, even, even if I did, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Uh, over here, my Earth Elemental's in the woods. I, I made the decision, um, because, like I was saying, how I had reformed those dwarves last turn on that overrun, nobody could see or participate, uh, with a battle against the whites. So my Earth Elemental's were kind of just sitting in the woods by themselves. So I made the decision to counter charge the <clears throat> the wraiths um thinking that you know if i can get a bane chant off i might be able to pick them up because they're certainly not inspired well maybe they're inspired anyway they certainly don't have that great of a thing and i thought you know yeah here's me i cast bane chant and i got i got like all right cool uh i continue my theme of my organ gun's not picking things up my organ gun doesn't pick something up um, and then I and then I just roll atrocious, um, wounding on, f hitting on fours, wounding on fours. I should have done four and a half points of damage, and I do one. So, you know, you can't win them all, but that was just rough. So my elementals back off, and now they are dead. So speaking of dead, um, doors, oh no, doors. Dwarfs. Oh, my um, Greater Earth Elemental looks like he finally killed those uh, those uh, Skeleton Warriors and, and overran. Which is good. Yeah, it is good. Um, oh. Yep. Oh, yeah, and I keep... We've got to do this combat and we just did it at the end, but my, my, my um, Ranger Captain just keeps following his... One of his liches, Lich Priests or whatever they are around, just smacking him up. So, turn six. Um, turn six, my pictures aren't great here, but the, uh, the, um, Vampire Lord, um, he, he knows that he has to stop my organ gun or else he's gonna pick up something for once. And so, um, the Vampire, he, he sends a Vampire Lord into the organ gun. Uh, leaving my Stone Priest to walk away, but that's okay. Um, uh, he's got those whites turned around and he's gonna surge him into the rear of my Greater Earth Elemental, which again is, is okay. But I probably, yeah. I was, uh, my hope was my hope was to overrun and then just like actually somehow get away with him. But he's dead. Um, and you can see my um, Earth elementals there at the top are are getting smacked on. So yeah, there's the whites or the the wraiths killing the greater Earth elemental, um, the vampire lord killing the uh, organ gun, and the whites and wraiths combined killing my. Um, uh, elementals. So, that's what it looks like there. Um, now it's dwarves six. Um, this is me kind of reacting without reacting. Um, there's not a lot I can do um, at this point because my dwarves are over the line, but just enough. Um, his his whites, well, chargeable. 
I think for like one of the dwarf units would take me out of scoring and there was no way like a hindered charge from an iron guard unit was going to pick up those whites. So I basically just stand here and look at him. Um, this picture is a little out of order, sorry. Same thing, it's just dwarf six, just ignore that route thing. So we're just standing around. Um, we do roll off of turn seven, <clears throat> which actually ends up being bad for me. Uh, undead turn seven doesn't look like it here, but he does walk his whites back a little bit. Uh, so he gets his whites into scoring, he gets his wraiths into scoring, he gets his lich peoples into scoring, and his vampire lord into scoring. Um, so that's undead seven, uh, dwarves seven. All of my stuff gets into scoring, um, and then in the end, all I do is I end up bane chanting my um, my ranger captain and trying to snipe out a white's troop. Which you know I do get a point of damage, but I don't I don't I don't roll the ridiculous roll I would need. So um, yeah, so that's it. I mean, it was uh, in the result surprise surprise for me. I I thought I kind of lost it at the end there with them. Um, Losing that last elemental horde, but it ended up being a tie. It was a really small uh, point advantage for my opponent. So it ended up just being a tournament 10-10 because, well, on top of like table quarters and everything else, like nobody nobody had any advantages really. Um, so, you know, it was a tournament tie, but it was, that's all right. Uh, some thoughts. He said it was a, it was a really fun game actually to play. Um, I, it was really fun to actually get to play such a, a nice looking army like it says here you can really kind of immerse yourself in it and really and really enjoy enjoy the game that's going on when when these things are smashing together um i would say yeah in, th in this game i don't i don't think either of us terribly outplayed the other person i think he did a little better in his movement than me but i think i think for the most part luck was on both of our sides and it wasn't like it, it wasn't some sort of a landslide with double ones or anything just really holding anything off so you know it was it was kind of kind of what I expected I expected to get a draw out of the game so uh, it doesn't do great for me in the tournament standings because there's only one more game left and I and I I think I'm somewhere like middle of the well I'm like 66 percent of the pack or something anyway, so it's fine. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm rambling again, but I'll I'll see you next time.